Hello, everyone. How's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Medieval Dynasty, shall we? Continuing our complete beginner's guide. All right. So at this point, what I think it's worth doing is saying, all right, you know, here we are, and we have, uh, well, we've got some extraction skill points to spend, actually. So let's do that right away. We can get extraction knowledge, treasure hunter, or uh, force of nature, and extraction knowledge I will take, just like I took before. I love getting the experience boost, then it just unlocks level 2, which we definitely want to get. Now, when we look at our journal, trying to complete chapter 2, survivalist, says we have to survive for a season. So we're not going to do this for, for a while because we set 10-day seasons. Now, that might seem like a stumbling block because we won't be able to get um, this high without this happening. But to be honest, it allows us to just explore other parts of the game and really, really settle in before this happens. And I think it's just terrific. We can still hunt a wild animal and complete that part of it. We can also um, go back and talk to Unighost for the main story. We This is Wait Till Next Summer. Um, and we could try to get seeds. The other thing we could do is go try to find Nadar. So what I recommend uh, for us to do at this point, let me open the map. We can see that there are some quests for us to get, like if we were to just travel to other settlements. So I don't think I can really do all of these things, but this guide is really meant more to be a kind of suggestion of things that you can do, and you can take up whatever interests you here are some ideas that i have so you could go to um you know for example barawo or rolnica or denica to pick up some other quests you could also look for nadar you could go hunt an animal okay you could gather resources you could go talk to unighost another suggestion is just wander the roads looking for toppled wagons and getting treasure that you find in that way. I wouldn't say go too far, don't go at night, uh, watch out for animals and things like that, but it's definitely something that's possible. Remember that whatever you're doing in this game, you're gaining experience. So if I, for example, we built the well, okay, that's tremendous, but if we want, all right, to build more, if we wanted to build, for example, anything else, like if we wanted to build a second house, okay, um, we could, but we know that we'd need a lot of resource, resources to do that. But if we had that, it would allow us, okay, to try to recruit another member of our settlement if we chose to do that. We could also go into hunting. We can't build this yet because we don't have survival technology. Leveling up will allow us to build a hunting lodge. Farming, we would need farming technology. We don't have that. But farming technology is actually pretty easy to get. Again, it's acquired through doing. So if we were to just scrape out a farm plot, I believe that that would get us farming technology. So what I'm actually going to do right now, um, before I do anything else, is go into town and talk to Unighost. We're running low on, uh, there's a bunch of mushrooms here. We're running really low on food. And one of the things, until we get better at hunting and such, that we're really going to have to do is figure out ways to eat. And that's just something that you can solve, like many things in life, by throwing money at the problem. I mean, look at all these sticks right here. Goodness gracious, just lying around for us to pick up. Now, when I say throwing money at the problem, we can sell things in town for money. Now, you might say, well, what can we sell? You could sell anything. You could sell logs if you want, but they're heavy. But instead of selling a log, another suggestion would be, let me go into my inventory here. You'll notice that, for example, some of the tools that I have, I'm just going to change the panel using the bumper to the tools panel. Like a wooden spear, it sells for 20. All right, that's not great. But a stone axe sells for 40, or even better yet, a stone knife sells for 40. 
So we could make knives, for example, and sell them. They're not that heavy and they're not that hard to make. So if we actually go here and we say, hey, go to handcrafting, what's it take to make a stone knife? It just takes sticks and stones. And then by just crafting sticks and stones, we can make knives uh, to get something to sell so we can buy food or other items for ourselves. I think this is a great thing to uh, for us to do. It also gets us experience in several different categories. So you'll see like right here, here's a stone. Here's another stone. Awesome. Stones everywhere. And then I can just go into the build handcrafting and I can go to knives um, and I can make one, right? Just craft it up. Bam. Um, and we got a knife. But I could also go over to handcrafting and I could push Y to say craft more. And it looks like we can make two. I'm going to make all of them in one go. Okay, now we have four stone knives and we're out of stones. Um, we're no longer carrying too much. You'll notice in the bottom left, uh, we need to eat. So let's go over to our food and just pick up some, let's eat some food. Um, mushrooms are a little bit dicey um, to eat raw. You definitely want to cook those first. I'm just going to go ahead and eat my oat roll because I know it will fill me up. Now you see how in the bottom left I have a stink meter because my character is dirty. So ooh, look at those fish over there. I'm going to actually walk into the pond or the lake. I keep calling it pond or lake. It's more of like a, a river or a stream. All right. And I'm going to get this deep. And you see how once I've gone about waist deep into the water, that counts as like cleaning myself off. And I'm no longer stinky. You can actually see visibly the stink on your and the dirt on your character. So now I'm going to run back, but I'm going to pick up every stone um, that I can find because it's time for us to craft. All right, and let's just go into town now. And while I'm going back to town, also, I'm going to uh, equip my spear. And if I see anything, any animal... I'm going to try to get it. It's hard at first, but you'll get better at it. And it doesn't take that much to make another spear. So you can always try again. Now, you'll notice that there's like a bunny a million miles away over there. So let's see if we can get it. Okay, I'm aiming, and well, now it's moving, which is causing me problems. Bunny, are you done moving? Oh my god, it's going so far away. The other thing cool, you see, we just discovered a white-tailed eagle spot. Just by wandering around the wilderness, you'll see different animals. Uh, looks like there's an animal over there that's slightly larger than a bunny. Anyway, I'm going to get closer to the bunny. It's right there. I'm going to try and hit this bunny. We killed it, I think. Um, I'm going to actually see if I can hit this. It's like a fox. Almost. Okay. So, we right here, we got ourselves a bunny. And you can skin it with your knife. I mean, look at that spear. It skewered it. We got two fur, two meat, and a wooden spear. Okay? And... Oh, there's another bunny. Oh, that was awful. I threw too... I was... I was so excited to see it that I threw too quickly. Anyway, make sure you get all your spears back that you throw. And do a better job than I did. Alright, there we go. We got four spears up. Okay, so you'll notice if I go into the quest panel now. Uh, 
hunt a wild animal is checked off. And now all we need to do is survive for a season. Oh, there's another bunny. Okay, let's just see if it comes right around here. Ah, I'm so bad. This is why I had to recruit someone to hunt for me, by the way. You're probably a million times better at hunting than I am, and I tip my cap. I believe it is easier with a bow and arrow than just, you know, throwing a spear like I'm in the Olympics and the javelin competition. But at the same time, you still have to have some modicum of skill, which I do not. Oh, there's what I want. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Bird. Got it. So birds are great because they give you your skill. They just kind of stand there. They don't even move as much as uh, rabbits do. And you can see once we skin it, we get uh, a bunch of feathers and meat. So that's going to feed us for a long time. Now we're carrying too much. So I'm just going to push um, up, go to the handcrafting menu, and I'm just going to make um, some knives. They're lighter than the raw materials. So if I go here, I can make a knife. This should help me with my encumbrance. Dee -de -dee -de -dee. It did. And we can sell it. It's just a... It's not the best exchange you can get. You could try doing different things. You could try selling spears or logs. Um, but for now, it'll do just fine in a pinch to sell. Also, uh, now that things are open, you can go right here and you can talk to Edwin. And he actually has Hello, stuff. Traveler. Hi, Edwin. He doesn't sound very nice. Um, show me your wares. Never disappoint. No, they don't disappoint. Oh, my God. His voice is scary. All right. So he has uh, seeds. Right. And we're looking for some seeds. Okay. He has onion seed. Remember, we have a quest. So we could buy onion seed. And we can buy... Um, what was the other kind of seed that this dude wanted? Cabbage? Was that what he wanted? Okay. And I paid him some coins for that, right? But if I go over to my own inventory, okay? Um, and I say, all right, can I sell you some knives? I'm just going to go to the tool panel. And you'll notice that if I go to knife, like he will buy these and he'll buy them for 20. So I could sell all four of these for 80 coins to this guy, which is like, you know, a huge windfall to us. So now we actually have a good bit of, I mean, not a lot of money, but way more money than what we did have. So that's um, tremendous. Now, let me uh, say farewell. I'm going to look at the... Only the I, I know, I know the best. So this is the farming vendor dude. So you can come here during the daytime. He leaves after, you know, um, like working hours are over. But he's here, and there are several other vendors in town that sell some small stuff like this. Now let me go over here to uh, the garden quest. And we need onion seed and cabbage seeds. So now we have all of this stuff, and we can deliver it to Lek right away. So we're going to do that in a moment. But let's go talk to Uni Ghost and finish this part. Uh, so where'd you go, dude? He's usually in front of his house. If we can't find him, we'll just check him here, and then he'll show up. There he is. Yeah, he's he's gonna sit down. Look at this guy. He's arguing. They're like, hey. Oh, that's not him. Oh my god, I've... Oh, he's sitting by the campfire. Here he is. The valley's treating me nicely so far. That's wonderful, Rasimir, but you've come at a poor time. My duties as a Castilian await me. Of course, I understand. Is everything all right? Yes, it's... I'm not sure, to be honest. There's been a murder. Oh my, I thought things like that don't happen here too often. Because they don't. It... I'm just about to go to the crime scene and question the witness, and I honestly don't know what to expect. Um, I'm sure you'll take good care of the matter. Time will tell. Yes, even it will break. Jokes aside, Rasmir, that's really a serious matter. I'm like, 
completely tone deaf about a murder here. I won't be able to share more stories with you at the moment, but I believe there is someone you should meet. His name is Sambor. He was one of us. The pack, I mean. Are you serious? And he lives here in the valley? That's right. All of them do, actually. Here, I've marked Sambor's house on your map. You should pay him a visit. Great. I'll go there right away. But beware. Calling Sambor friendly is like calling being stung by a bee right on the tip of your manhood pleasant. Oh, you don't enjoy that kind of a treat? Unighost, most people enjoy being stung by bees, especially right there. Oh, I'm sure you're exaggerating. He was part of the reminders, after all. Don't say I didn't warn you. I'll be on my way, then. All right. So, now we can go talk to Sambor, and that part of the quest is done. I'm going to run this way, and I'm going to find... I'm just going to mark the quest for Lek on the map, and he's over here. All right. By the way, you can also go here and talk to Adelina. A newcomer. Hello there. Hi, how are you? And we could try to romance Adelina. She's 35. She, you know, she works in the kitchen um, making delicious food. She's got a very nice head hat scarf thing on. And let's go see what her wares are like. Never disappoint. They don't. Now... Something that's really nice is you can buy a bucket of water from her, and then you have a bucket that you can use at your well. It actually takes a while to get the technology to craft your own, so this could be really, really helpful. She also sells a bunch of meat and food that you can cook yourself, um, which is phenomenal. And she's got, ooh, look at all this stuff, oat roll. Um, you'll find that it's very expensive for some of the really, really good food that she's got. But if you buy... Uh, bad like dried meat and stuff it's pretty cheap all right so let me go over to my own stuff and just see do i have anything i can sell you lady she's like well you do i could sell the copper sickle you know i could also um you can go ahead and filter your items hold right trigger and then say price descending okay and see what you have that's like actually valuable and go back to the top of the list and this pear wine. Oh, we found this. That's right. This sells for a ton. Yes, yes, yes. Sell this. And the oat ale, for that matter. Um, I'm going to sell all of this, and I'm going to sell all of that. I don't really need booze at the moment. I need, like, basic food so I don't die. So we go over to her list, and we can. Buy, I'm going to buy um, a bucket of water. Just I'll actually buy two. It weighs a bit. Um, but now we have two buckets. And I'm going to be like, farewell. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. I don't know, like, this game gets... It feels like it's getting updated more frequently than I thought. I don't really remember people having voice dialogue, even for small talk like that, when I had played this game the first time. I could be just misremembering, but I like it. It's nice. Okay, um, here's my man. Here are the seeds you were looking for. Hope it helps. Wonderful. I'll add them to my garden right away. Thank you. Here, take these coins and a few spare seeds I had left. So he gives you seeds. We completed the quest. We're getting money. Everyone loves us. Things are booming. And um, can I drink from this trough? I can't, but I can go into my own inventory. And I could just be like, bucket of water. Oh, yeah, it gives you 10 uses. So I can drink out of the bucket of water. And you see it has 10 uses. So you can just carry this bucket with you if you're on the go. Um, I'll drink again. Because I can. I feel rich. I've got a bucket of water. And a smile on my face. Alright, I'm going to head back to our home area. Oh my gosh, that's what I'm talking about. Birds on the road. Alright. Oh god, I'm bad. Alright. Oh, woe is me. This should be... Is This This is another bird, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All right, let's see if I can get this one. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, tell my story. We're going to starve to death. Luckily, there's other ways to make money, and you can... Even I can compensate for... I mean, I have to admit, hitting a bird with a spear would be difficult when you're throwing it, but um, may your spear aim truer than mine. Oh, there's ducks on the water. We got ducks on the pond.
that that was not right. Ooh, there's barrels though by the water. Did I have I already looted those? Um Oh, you know what? Uh my spear might be lost to the ages at this point. I don't see it. It could have also broken. All right, that's that's not ideal. Um, oh, there's fertilizer in here. Yes, take it all. Now we're talking. And there's some flour. Ooh, we can bake. Heck yeah. Now, I'm going to check into my skills panel. And I'm going to show you that um, in hunting, okay... We're trying to level this up, of course, by just hunting stuff. Um, and we're not doing well, but maybe eventually we'll level it up by hunting enough. Oh my god, it's a battlefield out here. Alright, there's our house. God, it looks good. All right, so it's time to... Oh, there's a bunny. And that's how you miss a bunny. Just like that. At this point, it's almost more impressive that I can't hit than the fact that I ever did hit. Oh, look at all these bunnies. Boy, there's bunnies everywhere. Now, let's check our trap. Let's see if we caught ourselves a bunny. Did we catch one? Oh. Oh, we got one. We can collect. You just have to hold down the A button, and then you get fur and meat like that. It sets up. You'll see that it's at 66%. Um, yes. Oh, my God. Death Badger. Oh, it just wants to fight. Oh my god. Okay. No. We finally killed it. We almost got killed. You see how hard that badger was? I've made this mistake before. Hunting is dangerous. Boars will kill you. Things will kill you. So learn from me. They're way harder than I ever dreamed. That's all my blood. Alright? I'm bad. Anyway. But we did survive. And there's another bunny. So... You know, eventually, the forest is plentiful. And we're going to need to uh, rest after that little debacle. Now, what I meant to do... Okay, don't fight that other badger. The badgers seem to be, like, not hostile unless provoked. So I'm going to um, go to my hammer. And I'm going to try to, like, repair this. All right, that's not doing it. Um, here, go to hammer mode. Uh... Repair, yes. And repair. Ah, that doesn't repair it. Maybe you can't... Maybe a trap just has a certain number of uses, and then it breaks, and you have to build another one. Yeah, it looks like it doesn't turn green. You see how these... My house and the well are turning green, like I could repair this? It's That's not where we're at. So, oh well. Not a big deal. All right. So let's show you something else. I couldn't remember if you could repair traps or not. You just have to build a new one. No problem. So they actually work pretty well. So if you set a ton of traps, you know, you could catch rabbits more easily and you wouldn't have to uh, try to hunt them. That's another thing you can do. So let's go to the cauldron and craft. Now, if I want to make, like, for example, some other, you'll see that I can't make some of the finer stuff. And if I want to make a soup, I can't make this either because I don't have the production technology. And I can't even make a porridge. So it's sad. You think, like, my God, what do I do? But instead, you can use the stone campfire. And you can, at the very least, roast meat. And I'm going to craft all of this. I'm going to craft all of my meat and roast it. And then you kind of just have to stand here. But this is leveling you up. And it looks awesome. i am just got a little meat on a stick. And this roasted meat will serve us as food. And now we, it's not that we have the food problem taken care of, but that we're in um, a much better space. All right.
And we got it. Okay. Exit. So now we have all this food. And let me go into my inventory and show you. Uh, if I go to the food panel, we have like all of this. We have dried meat, but we also have roasted meat. Okay. So some stuff. Um, let me see if I can find anything. De -de 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 -de. The roasted meat here, it doesn't um, give you a lot of food, but it gives you some, right? So it gives you six for each one. So this is tremendous, and we can eat that and just, you know, be happy. I'm, I'm going to eat this right now, though, the flatbread, because we needed a bunch of water or food. I'm going to go into my chest, and I'm actually going to put away this whole bucket right here. I don't need to carry it. I'm also going to say, okay... I'm fine with everything else that we've got. That, that'll that be fine. We'll restore our health when we uh, rest in the evening. So what can I do? Let's open up this and say we could build fences. Uh, no, we can't yet. We can't build gates yet. We can... What can we build? A con container? Uh, we could build a wicker basket to hold stuff, but we have the chest inside our house. We could build, no, nothing there, um, traps, but we can only have one out at a time. Yeah, that's what's tedious about traps. You have to level up. That's why you can't just put a billion traps everywhere and feed yourself. So a lot of things we can't build yet, but we could if we wanted, okay? Um, mm -mm -mm. No, not even that. We could build ourselves a wooden hoe, and I'm going to. Okay, and I'm going to... Oh. Just by building that, you see we raised our production. So that's another reason why, like, making knives is awesome. So we just raised our production, which is important for us um, building new things around our settlement. Now, we have crafting knowledge, sewing knowledge, and cooking knowledge that we can take. And um, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, all of this is fine, but I'm going to go with cooking knowledge because I'm going to be doing cooking a lot, just like you saw, like making that meat. And then we get to the level two stuff anyway. All right. Now I'm going to go to the technology tab. And I'm going to show you um, we can't boost resource storage unless we purchase schemes. So. You can actually buy schemes, okay? These are blueprints so that we can make more stuff. So I was like, where's my fence? That's right. You have to buy a fence, all right? So you have to come to the technology panel. You have to go down, and um, you need certain thresholds of build technology or survival technology or farming technology or production technology to unlock these categories. And then once you get there, it'll turn green, like we have resource storage done and we could buy a sitting stump for people to sit on or a fence or a stick gate. Now we don't need these right now, but you always want to keep track. Hunting lodge, okay, is what we'll get if we get survival technology up. Um, and then at the hunting lodge, um, we can learn how to make even better stuff like, uh, well, actually, I'm sorry. Once we get the hunting lodge, we can learn how to make a stone spear for ourselves instead of the wooden spear. Or we could make like a bird trap or a bow and arrow, things like that. So we definitely want to just keep gathering and crafting and building stuff to level that up. So to give myself a project, all right, I have a house here. I'm going to actually go into my inventory. And I'm going to just equip a... Uh, we made this wooden hoe. I'm going to put this on number five, all right, and I'm going to go to my wheel, and I'm going to just bust out the wooden hoe. And then you can see that if I just select some land, like right here, and I just push, um, <laughs> right trigger, like I'm trying to plow, but you'll notice that it's not really doing very much for me, right? I'm not like making the ground ready because we need to build a farm plot for this to work and we don't have uh the requisite ability to do that if i select for example my shovel okay and i like dig 
that also doesn't help me for this. So instead of doing that, I'm going to go to building. And if I go to farming, oops, oh God. If I go to hand crafting, no, um, building, farming, we can build ourselves a field. So this is what we need to build. So I'm just going to make a field. All right. I'm not planning on really growing anything right now, but you can put this here and then you can sort of, once you start it, you can move around and kind of like make it bigger by uh, adjusting the left stick. So you see how like I could make a field that's, I could just make like a nice little field like that and then I'm going to place it. Okay. And then fields are arranged in tiles. Every single one can hold one different type of plant. They require agricultural treatments like grubbing, fertilizing, plowing, sowing, gathering, and harvesting. So it's actually not that easy. But once we get it there, it'll get um, plotted out. Okay? So you see how there are these like little teeny sticks coming out of the ground to mark the field. Now we can use our hoe. So you can't just use your hoe willy-nilly you have to do this step first so we'll select our hoe and then now you can just grub it up and it says plow but this also is like grubbing it up and then we do have some fertilizer okay that we can use i'm gonna grub it up the reason you do this okay is because it l is leveling up your farming just the act of plowing it all right now if i Let's see. Requires bag fertilizer. But what if I... I thought I had some fertilizer. I do. Um, oh, but you have to have a bag to put the fertilizer in to use it. Right, right. But now check this out. If... Let me see if I can remember exactly how to do this. This was a tip that was given to me that was actually pretty useful, which is to say you can destroy your field, okay? Okay. All right, and then now it's gone. And then all you have to do is go back into the building and go into um, farming and build another field, all right? As big as you want, whatever. And you're not even going to plan on doing anything with it. Like, I'll build it. I'll pretend like that's going to be my field. And then I'm going to go to my tools and I'm going to select my hoe. And then I'm going to just plow it. And even though I'm not intending on doing anything, this is leveling up my farming technology so that I can um, get skill points and learn to do more with farming. So this is a great way to just like practice the farming skill. See this and just kind of roll along getting some farming. Okay, looking great. And now I will just select my hammer. And I'm already on. Um, I have to push left trigger, go to destroy mode, then kind of hammer on the ground and the whole field just goes away. And then you just push up. Building. Now look what else you can build, though. Um, I could build a resource storage now if I want just to have it. And let's see, anything else I can build? I always just like to check. Now, just resource storage and a house and um, some fields or an orchard. All right, I'm going to build another field. I'm going to select my hoe. And you can just hold right trigger and like walk around. And you see how, look, we just leveled up farming and now we can build a food storage. So this is kind of like a shortcut if you're interested in leveling up farming. It's, it's a way to just let you do farming skill. If you just try to do farming by waiting for your crops to grow, it's going to take forever. Okay, so this is kind of a cool way to just get this going without even necessarily planning on it. And then you don't have to worry about the fact that you're going to just destroy this uh, 
because you can just plant it again. We don't even have anything here that's planted. So I'm just going to destroy it. And then now you can see um, over in the technology tab, we have just leveled up farming to get the food storage. So if we level up even further, we could get a barn and, you know, perhaps get flour. But the food storage is going to be instrumental for if we want to build more places for people to live. So I'm going to um, go back and equip. Looks like all my spears are, I used them all up. So that's kind of terrifying. So let me go to the handcrafting tab and say, I want spears, but I need logs. So all that means is, Oh, I think I didn't get my spears after I fought the badger. Uh, let me go ahead and get my axe out, though. Now, we need to be extra careful when we're chopping this tree down that it doesn't hit us because of our weakened condition. Logs. 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 So good. Thank you so much. All right, and then we're going to go here. We're going to go handcrafting. I'm going to just make myself as many spears as I can, and four sounds tremendous. This is leveling up our technology, giving us skills, and we won't be caught empty-handed. We're already dirty again. We stink, but we stink with success. I can go into um, scouting mode, and you can see I spy my rabbit trap right over there. It's a great way to remember where it is. I'm just holding down on the directional pad. This does use stamina, remember, but now I can just see my rabbit trap. All right. And right around here should be my spear, but it's kind of hard to see. Let me get my torch out. There's some noises right now that I don't like. If that was a, a boar, I've been killed in this game by boars more times than I'd like to think about, so I'm going to just run away. And just consider myself absolutely fortunate. We're thirsty. Let's go ahead and drink from our awesome well. How about that? And let's come inside and sleep for the night. Now, this is another reason I love having this many days in the season. We can freely sleep, and we don't have to do anything at night because it's hard to see at night, we have plenty of time. So I'm going to go ahead and sleep till the next day. If, however, you did want to just jump to the next season, you can skip the days if you're bored, all right? But I'm going to go ahead and just sleep till the next day. And you can see we earned a good bit of our health back. Not all of it, but a good chunk. And the rest will come from eating and um, resting. So we'll get our health back, but it's a shame. And it reminds us, be careful if we're going to hunt badgers okay awesome well everyone i think this is a good place to end the third episode of this complete beginner's guide to medieval dynasty we've done more questing oh my god there's another badger we raised up our farming we made money and we learned how to cook meat and i gave you a bunch of different plans for how you might progress but really it, the world is your oyster it's a sandbox i hope you're enjoying the game thanks for watching take care <laughs>